I think the industry is in okay shape, all things considering. Um, uh, Group M, you know, the, the, the company I work for, uh, Wavemaker is part of Group M and we, we have like a 30 odd percent share of the worldwide market. We publish big forecasts every, every, uh, every six months. And we've just basically said we're up about 6% uh, for the year, which in reality, given inflation around the world, is, 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 is pretty much cancelled out. So we're back to about 2019 levels. So we're, we're back after three years, back to where we were before the pandemic. So I suppose that's an okay result relative to the overall macro economy, because uh, things are pretty tough in a lot of markets around the world. So it's okay, but could it be better? Absolutely. Um, I think the interesting about the market is, you know, the media market is as dynamic as ever. Digitization is happening at ever increasing rate, compounded by AI and all the other technologies that are kicking off. So whilst the business at a macro level is fairly, fairly unexciting, there is lots of cool stuff going on that makes it feel like it's a lot more dynamic uh, because certain areas are, are highly dynamic. I mean, the core, the core planning and buying business of the media industry is still growing, as I said, like 6% up. And, uh, but where, where I think the industry and where Wavemaker particularly is seeing a lot of growth is in consultancy service areas. So the, the core planning and buying of our business is still by far the most important element, really core to the business. But uh, we have increasingly sort of consultancy services which allow us to basically service clients for all their future needs. Um, within, within Wavemaker, we've just set up a consultancy community. Headed up, we've got a, a core team in London, uh, between London and New York, uh, which covers all, all areas of um, uh, addressability, data tools and tech, programmatic, um, content, e-coms of course, uh, data consultancy. So all those higher grade areas that clients really need to talk to us about. Um, there isn't a single client on our portfolio now that doesn't have some higher order needs. Uh, you know, the old days of just planning and buying for, for TV and core media just don't exist anymore. Every client is looking at particular ways of basically really driving through both the upper and lower funnel. And, and, uh, and we've provided this service and it's growing very fast. We're, um, the consultancy group for us is growing, uh, we're hoping to make it 25% of our revenue this year, which in real terms has, has gone from you know, less than five to 25 in, in the space of a couple of years. So it's really where the future growth is. It's where the talent want to engage uh, and it's where the cool stuff is, is happening. So uh, yeah, it's good to, good to see something like coming out and really flourishing in real time. Addressability is pretty fundamental and every client you know, unsurprisingly, is very lean forward when it comes to talk about addressability. For us, it's part of a bigger ecosystem of being really very efficient with communications. Um, within Wavemaker's planning process, we have a thing called provocative planning, uh, which is an end-to-end -end solution, literally from, from brief, which is about uh, creating the right audiences, creating the right platforms, and then delivering the platforms. End-to-end -end solution uh, through various pits within, within WPP and, and, and Group M. And that just means that there is no wastage. I mean, you get, and from a consumer point of view, it's also good. So it's a win for the clients and it's, it's a win for consumers because they're getting messages that are right for them. You know, there's, I don't have kids. I don't need messages on diapers. So uh, I don't get diapers anymore. I just get cool stuff. <laughs>